Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, I thought I would drop in today with just a few of my thoughts on how to turn your audience into customers um, because I have been getting that question from people a bit lately and you know there's really three things that I think are the three critical aspects to being able to, to do that. And you know, really these three things are why so many people struggle to, to get their audience turning into customers. So I thought I'd share those with you today. Um, now, before I get started into what these three things are that are important for you to know if you want to turn your audience into real customers, um, this Friday, the 13th, Friday the 13th, I like to think of it as, as a good Friday and not a black Friday, but anyway, um, lucky number 13. We, I'm going to be hosting a live free training called Business Makeover Live. And I, you know, part of what I'm talking about today will actually be going into a much deeper detail. So if you're interested after you've listened to my three tips, then please register and save your seat for Business Makeover Live. It does start on Friday. Um, you can find the link in my bio or on my website. Um, it's right there. It's a free training. So you're more than welcome to join me. Now, the three things that turn your audience into customers. Number one, obviously most important, you're probably not going to be surprised when you hear me say this, um, especially if you've followed me for a while, but it's all about who's actually in your audience. You know, who are those people and are they the ones that you should have in there? Like, have you done the work in understanding who your audience should be that are then the right people to be joining you in your programs, offers, services, whatever it is that you sell. Because there's a big difference in building a big audience full of people who might be liking your posts and commenting and saying, wow, that's amazing, and people who are actually ready to buy from you. There's a difference. You know, I think a lot of people look for the numbers in an audience, so I want lots and lots of people in there, and then wonder why, well, if I have that many people in the audience, why aren't they all buying? It's because it's not about the numbers. That doesn't mean it's a quality audience. The quality means that you are really clear on you know, who you are and, and who you're there to serve. And that then, leading into point number two, the messaging that you have is delivering. Now, there's a big difference between copy and messaging or words or storytelling and messaging. So messaging, and I wrote this down just so I didn't get miss out a piece, but... I believe this is messaging that is something that provides value while also creating demand for your service and it also eliminates objections to buying. So that's what messaging is. It really has three critical elements in messaging. Now, copywriting can be wonderful, but it doesn't need to have all three of those. You know, there's great copy on lots and lots of things. That doesn't mean that it's creating demand for your offer. It doesn't mean that it's driving people towards you and, and getting them ready to buy, eliminating objections. You know, often there might be someone who's sitting there thinking, well, that sounds great and it's definitely relevant for me, but their objections are something that's really holding them back and stops them from taking action. We have lots of objections. It's our kind of our brain tries to keep us safe. Um, and part of that is it'll come up with reasons why you shouldn't do something. You know, it'll look for the risk. Uh, you know, we are, what's the word? We are wired to look for risk as humans. So it's only natural that people do. And that's the first thing they're thinking straight away is, oh, but, you know, I'm not ready for this yet. Or oh, I don't know if this is really for me. Or, you know, I can't afford it right now. Or I don't have time for this. If you're not addressing those objections in your messaging, then you're not helping those people get to a place where they can actually take action on the thing that's going to help them. So it's so important to be thinking about all of these aspects in your messaging and messaging being at that much deeper level than copywriting. The third thing that helps turn your um, audience into customers is making it easy. Now, that might sound funny, but make it easy for someone to buy from you. Uh, you know, really have a look at what your processes are with your business. How easy is it for them to make contact with you? You know, how easy is it for them to sign up with you? 
Now I have a, you know, an experience where I was um, a customer or a potential customer of somebody, you know, we're having a chat on the DMs. That's not normally how I would want to be selling because it's very time intensive. But, you know, she reached out and said, well, do you, are you interested? And I was saying, yes, I'm interested in learning more. And then she said, well, what would be a good time for you to have a chat? And so she gave it back on me to come back and, and to go back and forward with a let's find a time to connect. And as soon as that happened, my interest just dropped. Like, yeah, sure, I'm interested in having a, a chat. But if she was able to send me to a calendar booking link straight away where I could book in a time that suited me, um, she probably would have got me booking in because, you know, I, I, I am interested, I was interested, but when it became too hard basket, you know, I'm a busy mum, I'm running a business, I've got kids, there's all sorts of stuff going on. And if you can't make it easy for me in that instant to take the action I need to take, then you've kind of lost me, you know, and, and so far I have not booked in that call with that person. So that's just an example of you that it, that wasn't easy for me. I didn't want to go back and forward on the DMs and talk about when I'm available and blah, 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 blah. Like that's just not efficient. It's not a good use of my time. I really value my time. So I like it when other people also value my time and make it easy. Let me self-serve. Let me do the actions without it having to be manual. You can also think about other steps in the process where, you know, are you really making it easy for people? How many hoops do they have to jump through in order to sign up with you? And something I see really commonly happen, um, uh, having too many steps in the process before someone has actually signed up. You know, how many things have, are you asking them to fill in or complete? Is there a long form with lots of information before they've even got to the point where they've paid? Anything that you're doing like that can really detract from the number of people who will continue through and sign up. So, you know, I think this is certainly something a lot of people aren't thinking about. They're thinking, well, it must be my pricing. It must be, you know, maybe it's my branding. I must need to do better design or more content or all of these things. Actually, no, it can be as simple as it's not just not easy and they've lost the will to live in the process. Um, you know, that happens certainly as we're all, you know, so time stretched and time poor these days. There's so many things going on. If you're not making it easy for somebody, then, you know, they're likely to, to actually, unless they're really super, super keen and want to go through all of the hurdles, they won't bother. So that's my tip number three out of the three of, how to turn your audience into customers um, in a really easy, simple way. So if you've enjoyed those tips, um, thank you so much for joining me today um, in the stories and I'm looking forward to checking in with you next time. Of course, I mentioned earlier that I'm running a free live training. It starts on Friday and I've already opened up access into my special private group, Facebook group, where we're, I'm going to be hosting the training in there. So, you know, if you want to get access to it, you do need to register, you need to reserve your spot, get on the list. And the topic of the training is how to oh, discover the easier way, sorry, not how to, discover the easier way to attract better clients. Now, when talking better, that means attract clients, great clients, especially if you're not attracting great clients, better clients if you're not attracting good enough quality clients. And that means more profitable and also to have a business that lets you work and earn what you need to earn and more without sacrificing your, your family time, your free time or your sanity um, because your business is set up to work for you instead of you working hard in it. So that's what this training is going to be all about. If that sounds interesting, drop over to put your name down for Business Makeover Live. The link is in my bio, um, or you can go to my website, jessicaosborne.com, um, and you'll find it on my homepage, actually, Business Makeover Live. The free training starts this Friday. Come along, join in the fun. We're going to have lots of fun and get into this all together. There'll be plenty of opportunity for some on the spot 
coaching questions you know I'm not going to just be talking at you um, that's not my style so love to have you there come and join us and um, I'll talk to you guys soon bye